Welcome back, everybody. It is time for another Xbox video. Yes, it is. This time around, we're going to talk four-player games. The idea for this video came because we played through uh, Diablo 3. Yes. On the Xbox yeah, Series X. Yeah, it was a X. lot of fun. Couch Cop's the way to go. It's so much fun. Love it. To sit with a group of friends and play your Couch Co-op games. And yeah, you can get angry at them in the room instead of having to like <laughs> swear at somebody online. This yeah. is the way to do it. This is the way to play the multiplayer games, in our opinion. Let us know what you think in the comments. Are you a big Couch Co-op fan? We hope so. I love it. But before we start that, we want to do a channel highlight as we have been doing in all our Xbox videos. His name is Mr. Matthews. Spoiler alert, he's going to be on our Get to Know Gamer as well, but he has a fantastic channel. He's got an easy to listen to voice. He just does these documentary style uh, NES hard videos. That's, I think that's his he debunks big thing right whether now. they're hard or not. In a library known for its difficulty, these titles are said to be the toughest games the NES has to offer. But you can't believe everything you hear. Let's find out if these games truly are NES hard. One in particular I love so much is this one. It is an older video. It was made nine months ago and is criminally underrated at only 81 views. And it might not even be because Mr. Matthews is in it. It might all be Paco. Honestly, look at him. All kidding aside, in this documentary type video, Mr. Matthews goes on to talk about the Ninja Turtles, the franchise, the game, why it was disliked when it first came out, his surprise, and just everything encompassing the game. What a fantastic watch. Here's a short clip. I love the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Always have. But I should clarify that I mean these Ninja Turtles. And these. Not so much these. These are okay, I guess. These yes. These no. Get out of here. Naturally, video games were part of the Ninja Turtles commercial blitzkrieg. There were a dozen or so games released based on the original Turtle series, but I really only experienced a few of them as a kid. The arcade game, the first two Game Boy games, and of course, the original NES game. If you're a retro fan, you need to check this channel out, and we encourage you to do so. We love his channel. We have watched literally every video he has out, and his newest video is about mediocre games. I love this as a concept. I love it as a video. I love everything about it. In a perfect world, every game you played would be an epic, life-changing experience. But in reality, most times they just aren't. Whether you're a hardcore gamer, an avid collector, or just a, a casual gaming enthusiast, we've all grown up with a game or two that was just a, a bit of a letdown. Maybe you received them as gifts from well-intentioned but misinformed relatives, or perhaps you bought them yourself with your hard-earned allowance money because you were fooled by a compelling advertisement, or because the box art sold the game as more amazing than it could ever possibly hope to be. Now, if you're like me growing up, you were lucky to get more than two or three new games a year. So if, if one of them wasn't quite as awesome as you would have liked, well, you just played it anyway. I mean, what else were you gonna do? Read? So, yes, go check them out. We're gonna move on now to our Couch Co-op games. I think we picked four good ones. We pick. We try to pick four games that um, are on the cheap. On the cheap. That we haven't talked about really a whole exactly. lot. Exactly. We could have put a lot of like. I think Fusion Frenzy is on everybody's list yeah. for Xbox. But we've talked about Halo's that. Halo's not on this list. Okay? Halo's Everybody not. knows about yeah, Halo. Okay? Exactly. Yeah. But these are four games that are under 20 bucks Canadian, so even, even, even cheaper. cheaper for people in the US. <laughs> for everybody else. You know what, if you search around for them, you could probably get them for under 10, but we're going oh, yeah. by price charting guide. A lot of guide. them I got for, my, for under 10. The first game we're gonna talk about is... Is a franchise that I think everybody knows, but we're gonna get this out of the way right now. Yes. Don't get bored. It is Ultimate Alliance. Yeah. Um, the reason why I say don't get bored is because they're every. When I say Ultimate Alliance, people that have played it, they all go, "Oh yeah!" Like they get all hyped up. So everybody's heard about Ultimate Alliance. We started playing this after the, uh, Diablo, uh, Diablo 3. Three. What Dennis's suggestion was is to we would do use a number generator, 
and we would randomly pick our team each time we Yeah, win. so that you're not always playing with the same character. You don't, yeah. you're not always building up that character. You get to when try them all. When you play it that way, it adds a little bit to the game. Yeah, well, it keeps it changing. Right? It does, yeah. it does. Sometimes you'll get stuck with a character that is not your favorite. <laughs> yeah, it's not your that favorite. happens. Yeah, yeah, so, but it's a great way to play the game. I think if you haven't tried Ultimate Alliance, you, you really should, especially if uh, it's great for if you have uh, younger kids. It's a very oh, easy, yeah. top-down, beat-em-up style game. Who's your favorite character? Uh, I play, I just don't know, like there were so many good ones. I know we talked about ones we didn't like, but yeah. there was there was a few I really, really liked playing as. I, I wouldn't be able to narrow it down. Well, I always go to my main characters, like my favorite Marvel characters are I think Wolverine is my favorite. I like favorite. playing as Deadpool. I will admit yeah. that. I did like yeah, I don't know if Deadpool, Deadpool is on this version. It was on our 360 version. This is not backwards compatible all the way up to your no. Xbox Series X. I'm not even sure if you can put it in the Xbox 360. I don't know. It's probably some kind of a licensing. It probably is. It probably is. But who did you enjoy playing as? I always go for Wolverine or the Hulk. Those are my go-to well, guys. Well, see, I was going to say one yeah. of those. But I, like, did enjoy, I did enjoy uh, playing... Uh, playing as Thor, I was going to say with. Yeah, that's probably not yeah. not good to say. Yo, you're going to edit that in. I'm going to edit that right in. Change Next right. game. Next game. <laughs> Next game. Actually, this this game, I, it, it just flew under my radar because I was going through our, our shelf and I picked out a bunch of four-player games. Yeah. And I missed this one for some reason. For, for some reason, this one. And now I need to play more of it. Like, it needs yeah. to happen. This one here, I didn't realize it was four-player. It's Brute Force, and it's actually four-player split-screen split screen. campaign. And you know what? It didn't look bad on a bigger screen. Uh, it's not bad. It's not it's bad. Not bad. It, it, it really, really re resembles oh, a Halo-style game. It's very Halo. Except for it's, uh, I think they describe it as third-person sh rogue shooter. Yeah. Is the best way to describe it. You get. I do believe four different characters. I don't think there's more than that. And no. they all have their own different weapons. They abilities. do, they do. And I wouldn't get too hung up on the story. Uh, you know no, what I mean? It's... Just go in expecting to like yep. beat the shit out of stuff and like and shoot, stuff. shoot stuff up. Yep. That's what you're getting from this game. And if you go in with that mindset, you're gonna have a great experience. Yeah. It's gonna be a great your, time. Your co co couch co-op games like this are meant to be with a group of like two, three, four people. Yep. Very casual, just having fun, talking trash. Yeah, I think that's what you drinks. need. That's what you need out of these types yeah. of games. But it's it's so cool. Maybe underrated. When it was when it first released, it I think it broke records. It broke on the records first in day its for first, sales yeah. and for maybe the first week yeah. for sales. But I'm just, that record didn't last long. But at the time, it, it did so, really well. And yeah, I, I'm not sure why this flew under my radar. We're gonna have to play through yeah, it. Yeah, absolutely. Through it. This one here was a gift. This one was a gift, so yeah. it was under twenty bucks because it was free. <laughs> but I feel I still feel like it is in it, that twenty dollar. It area. is in that twenty dollar yeah. area. It's Dungeons and Dragons Heroes. Yeah. Now I know I might not have picked this up because I'm not a big D and D guy. But you don't but need after to know playing the it, lore of no, D and D. You it's, don't. Uh, it, it, I think the inspiration of the the D and D part of it is basically the enemies and the dungeons and stuff like that. Yeah, and the atmosphere exactly. Yeah. But this is just a top down beat 'em up hack and slash. Yes. With this some... gave us a lot of Diablo vibes. Oh, big time! Absolutely. Yeah. Big time. It's very. Uh, it's not overly difficult. There you. No. You can. Um, you walk up to something and it opens. If yeah. you have the key for the chests, it opens. So it's not something you have to. It's you you heal very easily. It's yep. not overly complicated. There's no rolling dice, so that might be a sticking point for I, some people I that really like, love Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah, I feel but like people that are big D and D people, uh, guys are may not like this. I'm not sure. Put it in the comments there because I. Or don't, they may. They may just maybe. have wished that would have been there. But I've heard that. It strays so far away from it's not an actual D and D style no. game, and it's more of a hack and slash yeah. beat 'em up, which is what I love. 
Yeah, I so, do too. That's exactly what I love to play Couch Co-op, for sure. This one was backwards compatible when we picked it up, and it has been taking off, taken off that list. Yeah. So I actually threw it in today, and it, it still wouldn't. doesn't, it won't yet. So well, what are you going to do? Yeah. And the last game on our list. Well, we, we brought out two of them because I just want to say we were on yes. a live stream and <laughs> we mentioned this and I had to show the cover. So, Hunter the Reckoning. Hunter the Reckoning. This is the only game out of the four that, or five, if you include your other one, that well, is really backwards compatible. So, we're, we're going to play through it. It's oh, not a long game. Yeah. Uh, it looked friggin' awesome. Very cool. Um, I haven't played a whole lot of it. There's some dark humor in it. Yeah, it looked, this is, I think would be great for a Halloween. Oh yeah, type oh of game. yeah. Yeah. And the zombies aren't just like your regular typical, uh, like come at you slow zombies. Like they have weapons, depending on what character you pick is gonna determine your play style. So. Yeah, you have your ranged really cool. attacks and then you have characters that have like handheld weapons that you gotta be right up in, in yeah, your business. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's. I, when we put it on the screen to first start playing it, I was like, holy shit, this is my sort of game. It, it gives me that like survival horror-esque yep. feeling. It's not necessarily a survival horror game, but it it gets you in that mind frame. Definitely had a, a Halloween vibe. And yeah, it really, it. really um, did. It still looks good on a big screen. It does. Um, I assume that uh, Xbox has kind of bumped up the graphics yeah, a little bit there. that's true. That's yep. true. Can you please bring that one out? Okay. Because I'm serious, this, guys. Like, is that not J Lo? If that's not J Lo, I don't know who this, it is. J -Lo. This one came after. This is the original. That's the sequel. Yeah, that's the sequel. This uh, is not. People didn't enjoy this one quite well, as much. Well, they enjoyed it. There I think they just problems. expected a little bit more from it after this one. Maybe it should have been elevated a bit more. But it was yeah. still, it was still well received. I think you when you get a sequel game, you expect a little bit more. I think every, that's true of any every, game. Every time we talk about Hunter the Reckoning, you always mention J-Lo. I always do, because always. I always see that the Redeemer. cover in my mind. <laughs> All right, so uh, there were other games in my collection that I wanted to put in the video. But um, maybe that's another video. Yeah, uh, how about you guys put in the comments for uh, the games that maybe I don't know about. Yeah. So cuz I'm your always favorite? I'm always on the lookout for uh, multiplayer games especially like uh, the four player. It's many games as you can think of that I may not have or may not have heard yeah. of maybe it's rare. Pop that in the comments. Because we listen when you guys talk, we do actually look for these games. We love the community and we love the back and forth that yep. you guys bring to our videos that you give us your your input and we do we take that to heart and we go out and we try to look for those games and it just makes it fun it makes it more interactive absolutely absolutely all right guys thanks so much for watching our xbox video uh tune in again in june we'll see what we do then for <laughs> xbox but you know it's the year of xbox <laughs> just said its name I did every every single time St i stupid connect stupid connect all right guys until next time Game, Game on. on! There we go. Can you turn it off? Yeah.